Dear iPhone, this is a letter that is long overdue. Let me start with something simple. We love you, but I hate you more than we love you. I hate how much we love you. And more than that, I hate how much everyone else loves you because that makes us crave you more. It has become socially unacceptable to sit alone without you. We can't wait for a friend anymore without holding you or ride public transportation alone. You are a constant companion, and while you are necessary and useful sometimes, you are a burden and you weigh us down more than you know. We have become so anxious and scared of being judged and being approached that we have created a technological addition to our bodies. We can barely see where we're going now because our brains and our eyes are glued to a piece of technology that is barely bigger than a credit card. We miss so much of the beautiful world that surrounds us, and that includes other human beings. Yes, iPhone, you are beneficial in so many ways. We can use you to call a driver to pick us up and drop us off at any time of the day or night, which is something my grandparents would have viewed as a lavish luxury only for the upper class. We can communicate in seconds with our best friends who live halfway across the world from us rather than waiting for weeks for our letter to arrive. But this constant communication also means that we can never be alone and learn the valued lessons that come from time alone with oneself. We can meet new people online, but what if while we're looking down at you, we miss someone that we were meant to run into in person? When we're in public, we isolate ourselves by removing ourselves from interactions with real people surrounding us and instead opting to occupy our mind with more of you. You, iPhone, are a drug. And as is the case with any addiction, the fault is not yours, but ours. We create our own addiction, and we are the only ones who can save ourselves. To anyone who is over the age of 20, imagine a world where children will grow up not knowing how to read a real clock or a map, where they will be unable to navigate their way to a location without GPS. We are in that world. Look back in your mind to a time when people could go a whole day without carrying their iPhone charger everywhere with them. And now we live in a world where finding a person who can sit through an entire movie without losing their attention span is exceptionally rare. A world where our worth is literally determined by how many likes we get. Even if someone is sending body positive messages, they need the likes they receive to feel validated. The next time you're in public, I urge you to take a look around you and look at the people who are conversing and having real human interaction and see the true feeling in their eyes. Then look into the eyes of the people who are glued to their screens and observe the vacancy and loneliness in their faces. Which person do you want to be? I issue a challenge to you. I challenge you to realize and accept the amount of time that we spend on our phones and decide to do something about it. I have linked below another video that is incredibly expressive, as well as a few websites about weaning yourself from your technology. A removal completely is impossible to ask for and is not necessary, but I hope that this video will help anyone watching to truly see how antisocial our social media makes us and that it will encourage you to make a change.